there's 10,000 ways to redo the paint on this car and 20,000 ways to keep it looking like it is. No, I'm not gonna repaint it, and I'm about to tell you what I did to it. Soon I got a video coming up where I'm gonna put these low ring springs and pan hard bar on the Shelby, but I'm not even sure if these H&R Super Sports are gonna fit with these massive 305, 35 by 20s on 11 inch wheels on the back. Look at how wide those things are. I'm actually more concerned if these big ass tires are gonna fit on the front with these springs, but we'll see. Because the company I got these from sucks so bad. It's such a long story and I'm, I'm just over it. I got a set of Pirelli P0s, 305s. I'm gonna throw on the back of my stock wheels so that I can make another burnout video. Man, those videos were fun to make and I can't wait to roast these pieces of shit. Also coming up for the contour, I got some looks pretty rough BAT suspension to put on there, lower it maybe an inch or so. And that should make that piece of shit look a lot better. And today we're gonna talk about this guy again. Another thing people ask me the most about this car is the finish. Like, are you gonna paint it? No, I'm not gonna paint it. And then I get guys telling me what I should do to it, right? Obviously the car's been painted over before. You can see the original paint under here. There's been some, some shoddy body work on there, you know? Right here, you, you peeled off, hit something a little bit. You can definitely see how there's been a couple different layers of paint when you look at the hood. You know, more body work over here. All right, but no, I'm not gonna paint the car. Uh, I like the car exactly how it is. I actually spent time making this paint look a lot better than it did. Um, here's some before and after pictures. You can see it kind of looked blue before I got to it. And what I used was Meguiar's number seven. And what it does is it puts the oils back in the single stage paints of these old cars, since they didn't use a clear coat. So it kind of like revives the paint. The paint gets old and dried out and this kind of just like, like I said, puts the oils back in it. Uh, so what I did is I took this and I rubbed it all over the car, let it sit for a couple days and just kept rubbing it all over the car and the, until the paint started looking like it was coming back. And then I buffed it a little bit, put a little, put a little light compound on there and just gave it a once over with some buffing. Other than that, I've washed the car two or three times in the past three years. So it's really not, it's really not looking bad. And I don't know why people think I have to paint it. I don't, you can't, buy this kind of look. I know it's not the best patina in the world. Like if you look, if you can see it's got it's got water spots, like really old, really old water spots. And I don't care. It looks good. It's character man. It's got some dents in there. It's character. You can't buy this, you know? Like the sticker says, you can't read it. Friends don't let friends fotina. You got all these people, how to videos on YouTube, how to create patina. You can't create patina. Patina is something that happens over time, right? Patina is built on its own. Fotina, you can always tell the car at the show when they fake their patina because 90% of the time it just looks awful. 10% of the time it'll look okay, but you can still tell because it's not real, right? Nature gives this stuff the best touch, way better than any person can give it. And overall, the body's in really good shape and really not a lot of rust on there. If you look under the car, it looks like it's all rusted out, but really I think someone put an undercoat on there that really just protected it for so long. Let's see if I can get you to see this. Just, that just peels right off. 
And it's nice and pretty under there. I mean, there's a little rot like right there, but I don't know if you can see that. Not a little rot there, but that's not killing anybody. You know, that might even peel off too. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. The only other person I let work on it was Sam, and he did the bags. And he told me that he was amazed by how clean the car was underneath. The only part of the car that was really rotted out was under the battery tray, which is like, it's very common. I didn't have to replace any of the pans, but I did cut out under the battery and replace that tray. And uh, that was it. it was, like I said, the car's incredibly solid. No, I'm not gonna paint it. I think it looks great. Maybe in a few years, I'll put some more Meguiar's number seven on it if it needs it. And maybe I'll buff it again, but I think it's gorgeous. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button. We got more content on this bad boy. On this bad boy. And on that piece of shit, Maybe, maybe I'll do more content on this guy. Because that's a pretty sweet bike, but it's nothing special. I recently installed a cam and full exhaust and air cleaner and tune on this thing. And I would really like to ride it. But in the state of Georgia, it won't stop fucking raining. So I can't ride it to work. And then anywhere else I ride, it's just not convenient. It's not convenient to ride it to the gym and the grocery store, you know?